Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I have a fun Dollar Tree haul to show you. But before I do, I got something to test and I have to give a shout out to it. It is the Jelly Roll um, Stardust Clear Pen and it's got <laughs> this little shooting star on there. But I had Jelly Rolls the first time I used them was a long time ago and I it was just to write with. I had never... You know, I just happened upon them, and I really like them, and I've had them for, like, uh, well over ten years, and they're still writing really well. Matter of fact, I think I have one here. I do. Um, and I just had this set um, just just to have fun with and um, before I got into paper crafting, and so it's just kind of funny. The life comes full circle. Um, this Dragonfly stamp, this is the new one from Stampin' Up, I was playing around with that. So it just gives a quink, quick, <laughs> quink, uh, a quick little uh, shimmer. Uh, kind of reminds me of Wink Estella in that respect. And for this particular thing, I just um, outlined uh, the little lines with it. And it just goes on beautifully. It's very, very shimmery. And. Um, and so forth. And so you can just outline things with that. You can write with it, of course. See that? Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Um, I went ahead and colored in. If you can see, this, this, these two wings are colored in, in with the Jelly Roll pen, and these two are not. And so you can see the difference there. So if you're looking for something quick and, quick and easy, the downside to it, um, you know, with Wink Estella, once you use it up, you can clean it out and use it as a water brush because it holds uh, stuff in there. It's reusable. So um, that is the plus side there. And to throw that out, I got those yesterday and I was so excited. Uh, just they give this this beautiful glistening clear and the nice about the, thing, the clear one is you can use it for anything and turn any, um, it just gives a little extra something something. Um, to that, and it's just so pretty. I mean, it just goes right on. Um, um, you know, it's skinny, so you have it takes a while, but uh, anyway, I just thought that's not part of my I didn't get that at Dollar Tree, but I just thought I would throw that in there in case you were looking for a gel pen and you were you've seen these and were wondering um, how they work. They had a roll of I'll oh, get it upside down Disney Princess uh, wrapping paper. I know it's not Christmassy, but. Um, I just went ahead and grabbed that, so it's got, anyway, so you get 20 square feet, not a huge amount, but enough to wrap a few birthday presents with that, so I'll go in our birthday paper stash. Of this, I've gotten this before, if you've seen any of my other hauls, and, um, I've really liked it. I use it on my Silhouette Cameo 3, and it cuts out beautifully, so I like it. It doesn't, like, come off on you. It's poster board glitter paper. Someone had asked me about these, and I've never gotten that, so um, I'm going to go ahead and try them and see if I like them. Two of each color, and they had other, they had bigger bottles of it, but I thought I'd try this, so it just comes right off. Um... Nice and, and then you can kind of move it around. That's a lot of dimension. So this is the glitter glue. And let's take a look at that. So it's pretty. And I don't know if you can see that. It's got a lot of dimension there. Can you see that? It's reds, golds. This one looks a little, looks different, doesn't it? Um, not sure if that's a, I don't think that was on purpose. And then two silvers, so some pretty usable colors. And, uh, yeah, so I'll add that to my stickle section. Gold um, tablecloths. I thought it would be a nice neutral back color to, um, I got three of them. Um, to whatever decorations I'm doing, because gold kind of goes with anything. And I got some gold um, streamers, mostly to make embellishments, embellishments with. So streamer, it's really pretty. It's nice brushed gold, and you can make like those. You can sort of fold them like this and make little embellishments with them. 
a regular poster board. You get five sheets of this plain white poster board and you say, well, why did you do that when you can get a whole giant sheet? Well, because, you know, when you're making journals and things, sometimes you need something a little bit bigger than a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And this is 11 by 14. So um, I figured this could fold up into a nice sturdy journal cover. So that's kind of what I had in mind for that. So that is the poster board, five sheets per package for a buck. Um, I also noticed for the first time, maybe you guys have seen this before, from Crafters Square, um, these craft activity mats, and I got two of the same color, cheapy cutting board or something. <laughs> um, I, th I thought this would be nice, you know, when you're trying to do some messy work, it, it cleans right up, or if you're for your kids, you know, you can just stick this there and don't have to worry about them. Um, you know, you could tape this down with some masking tape or painter's tape so it doesn't shift. And then they could have a nice backdrop to, to keep clean and then it's easy to clean up and put away. Cooking stuffers here. Um, a couple of these little gummies. We don't usually buy that, so it's like kind of a one one time thing. I got some of this um, scotch, or maybe it's not scotch, actually. It looks like scotch because of the 3M, but it's not scotch. Uh, this carton sealing tape, and I'm curious to see if this sticks as well as the one that I buy. This does too. <laughs> um, so basically 33 cents a piece, and they're nice um, gold shimmer paper with um, the red, and so I thought that would be very pretty to add to packages. I got another one of these in my last Dollar Tree haul. I had the pink grapefruit one, and it turns out I liked it. So um, the bottle is the pretty much the same design as the Method um, brand that's out there, but um, this is Luscious Pear Foaming Hand Wash. It's dye-free and triclosan-free, which is important to me, the triclosan um, thing there. So, um, yeah, so for a buck. Uh, duct tape uh, aisle. I got some of these duct tapes I thought was really cute. The candy. <laughs> thought you could use that for Christmas. You could also use that for birthdays and just to fancy up somebody's package that, you know, in my Etsy shop. Some people buy things. I was trying to think of ways I can package it up in a cute way. So I got that one and then I like this. Like, it's on notebook paper and it says dream big and it's all very sketchy and doodly. So I thought that was really, really cute. So some of these eyelash type, um, this is actually from Lion Brand Yarn, so uh, I was fun little fine. It's called Fun Fur, and of course you can knit with it, but you can also use it for uh, tags and things and mixed media and uh, journals and makes a nice really soft, um, you know, neutral tag. So I grabbed like a grayish, brownish, and then that sort of creamy uh, buttery color there. So I see name brand um, stuff in the dollar store. So Lion Brand Yarn. So for you knitters out there, go ahead and grab those and make a scarf. I also got some of this lace and burlap uh, because I, I needed a hat. I don't know. And this one was stretchy. I have a big head. <laughs> I always say it's to fit my brain and all my stuff in it. But uh, anyway, so I grabbed that and it was soft. And out of the choices that they had, that was the one that I liked. And I also thought, these are super soft. And these socks. So I thought I would go ahead and give those a try. It is super cold in Michigan. We have real fill temps of negative numbers right now. And it is it is a little bit treacherous. So, um, some, some tape, since we have lots of gifts to wrap. I always need more of that. Um, here's my other little stocking stuffer. More stocking stuffers for my little girl, um, and you can smell these. And um, yeah, a little fun little uh, perfume mist and some body lotion. I tried to define this. I know you might not think it's all that great, but she was wanting a fan, and I just thought it was so funny that they had them. And I thought that was kind of pretty. Mm. Not for now, because we're cold, but in the summer, you know, <laughs> or whatever, playing dress up and. Uh, princesses and that sort of thing. So, you know, she got her wish. She wanted a van. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. They had these in the drink section. It has a fruit you can put. All right. <laughs> so you can go ahead and put some fruit in there, some raspberries, lemon slices, strawberries, and then you don't get the pulp in your water and it will fruit infuse your water with fruit and vitamins and nutrients and so um, I thought that was kind of cool. I also got um, two of these boxes. They had a whole bunch of different ones but it's a nice sturdy uh, chipboard 
um, tarp cardboard box and with this nice thing lid and I liked the silver. I thought these were really pretty. Kind of a cool one with the geometric colors and the purple and the kind of cool colors there. So I liked that. Didn't look chintzy. Um, nail polishes I got um, from LA Colors. I got this one is Pacific Blue and I'll might wear this one, but the rest of them I kind of got for crafting. <laughs> so, um, uh, not that you couldn't, I couldn't, can't wear them as well, but, um, I got this one. Look at that beautiful gold. That is called Dizzy. <laughs> that's really, really cool. But that glitter sometimes is really hard to get off, and I don't have any nails as it is because I play the piano. But anyway, this one is Fancy Pants, and I really liked those. Uh, purples and teals and royal blue and this one is cocktail and it's this beautiful blush pink hopefully that's showing up on the camera but um, so it's number 542 568 don't know and 467 and so it's kind of a vinyl-y uh, neutral color there oh yeah I'll make a fun little journal to embellish also got a set of these tweezers. They had all different kinds and I got these mostly for my craft room because, <clears throat> you know, first of all I'm constantly misplacing things and uh, just holding things while I'm heat embossing or trying to reach down in my sewing machine. It's nice to have a pair of tweezers. And so these are all different shapes. And notebook lined in there and uh, I just, I really like the feathers on that. And then a couple more stocking stuffers. I got these jumbo pens. I thought that was fun, you know, for schoolwork. You might as well hold a fun fun pen while you're doing it. So I got those. And then lastly, no, not lastly, I got this little baby petroleum jelly. I thought this was cute. I saw somebody do, um, oh, who was it? It's a mixed media artist. And they used the petroleum jelly as a resist. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. And, it, you know... Instead of getting a big honka jar, uh, I thought I'd try um, this little guy. And then the thing I got was a pen for myself, and I liked uh, I liked the little glittery insides there, and they had different patterns there. So how does that work? I guess it turns like that, and that writes in blue. So um, yeah, blue ink, crystal barrier. I thought that was really pretty. And that's my Dollar Tree haul, guys. And, uh, all right, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new, and don't forget to share. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Maynard Cynthia. And thank you so much. Go. I hope you have a great day.